Thank you for coming. The Lord cover you. Tukedi sasa kwa kifupi tushiriki neno la Bwana aliye hai. Topic yetu inaitwa regaining your position. Kuna nafasi iliyo yako na Mungu anataka uimiliki. Kwa maana katika enzi tulio ndani yake tunakaa na kwamba we can be anything. We cannot be anything. We can only be what God said about us. Na kwa maana tumepigwa sana, Mungu akataka kusimama arejeshe our space. Hallelujah. Wakati wanafunzi katika Mark chapter 4 walikuwa wanavuka bahari na Yesu mwenyewe alisema tunavuka. If you just check your Bible briefly, utaona Yesu katika Mark chapter 4 verse 35 alisema na tuvuke ngambo. Wakawacha mkutano, wakamchukua vile vile alivyo katika chombo na vyombo vingine alapo brasema ikatokea dhoruba i know kumetokea dhoruba but jesus jesus amenituma nikwambie you must regain your position wapendwa we are now in the center of the storm and jesus hata kubali tuzame na leo nitawaombea maombi na Yesu atakuwa hapa lazima dhoruba zisimame for we must regain our position bwana akisema tuvuke ngambo ile tunavuka wapendwa bible says ikatokea dhoruba chobo kikajaa maji kristo akasimama ukienda verse 39 akaamuka akaukemea upepo akaiabia bahari nyamaza utulie upepo kakoma i believe Ata kama bahari ilikuwa ni sezoni yake ya dhoruba it must allow the word of god to prevail na kama mungu alivyo hai kama ulikuwa ujenge nyumba mungu akupe nafasi ujenge sasa amen, amen. madam kaprotoka kwako au kalivamiwa huko kuna makago na niangavia ah asante si hata nijege haraka Oh basi nimetabiriwa kutoka kwa shirika. Kumbe mnaweza tabiri pande hii? Ah haraka sana. Asante inawezekana. Because kuna messages about sio zetu. Zinatokea katika nyakati kama hizi. Can I ask you a question? Do you know how wana siasa mnaona? Mimi am um, najua wengine wao. Kama kuna wakati wengine wao wamechukua mashaba is now na watuambia ukweli ulisikia the other day just a mere mp niko na namba yake kwa simu yangu shares abazo za company kubwa sana akona nyingi side mpaka unaogopa si si lazima you know, you know one time I met a politician. Rafiki yangu. Tukatu hey, tuka na nyolewa. Kabia hey. Nekabisa kwa 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 huku. Ako na mashule ni muheshimiwa. Lakini kaona iko mstana mekuja. Mama yake alikuwa meaga. Anamutumia vibaya. Nikamambia muheshimiwa. I know you. Uko na mashule. Uko na magari. You are so rich. Kwa nini usimuajiri humu sana? Ambaye baba hana mama hana. Nikamia usana kuja aboni tajiri. Kabia wea bishop nyamaza. Hatuambi hao mambo yote. Hao ni maskini wakutupati ya kura. Mimi karibu atasigi maizu wa kichwa. Nikasema no this is too much now. It's too much. Buwana suwa sana. Muna wana right now Nairobi. Eda kireshwa. Stima hizipotei, eda ketusuru. Wakati kuna mapigo hapa, muna sikia mapigo mbunduki hapa, kuna usiki. East Rats, ukienda ile standard ya sete, siyo bahati. Kutoka harisarasia kwa daju, di onerobi. Huku siyo onerobi, huko ni sete gani inaka kama bahati. Maji hakuna ni boa huu. Nyumba ni rumu moja. Ata Soweto, Slam ya South Africa. Inakaka kama buru buru buru. 
So we're only two bedroom, three bedroom. Hello, praise God. Muto na ka kalen. Kuna siku moja kulikuwa na debate. Kulikuwa na mweshiwa moja. Sijua likuwa olengo na kila kitui. Wali ngangana buwana katika citizen. Wakatusiana. Yeke, 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 yeke. Do you know what happened? Muke wa moja wa awa kasema. Nina hurumia la ya. Kwa sababu, saa hiyo, muke, both families, wake zao, walikuwa sijui pan Africa Hotel, wana share dinner, wana gojea wazee waje wakule pa moja. The two people, after that, the two families were meeting for dinner. Wameacha, wamechafua inchi, na waambieni nyinyi mwena heki ma. There should be a way somewhere. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu ainuliwe zaidi, zaidi zaidi. Hallelujah. And therefore in just name, let me add one point because I'll be you jubeli mrefu regaining our position. Kitu kimoja utaka kuona we have part 1 and part 2, this part 3. One thing itafanya urejeshwe katika nafasi yako is what we call quickened potential maximum operation of your strength watu wengi wako na deni ya uwezo wao uko na miguu inatebea but haukutebea maximum uko na sauti na zaiba but you never sang completely uko na akili inaweza uda biashara na unde but it was never used Amen. Salimieni. Ukona mikono hi. Weza uza maebe, matubo, mayaya, huku uza. Ukona mdomo. Weza tagaza seme. Kuni, kuni, maharaka, maharaka, maharaka. You never said it. Kuna sehemu mungu hata usika. Anagojea your maximum strength. Kwa muka asubuhi wapendwa, uwede mapema. Ni muka takuwa musha? That's your duty. Kwenda soko. Marigiti, wakati avocado zimakuja na neto ngini ya gani? Na 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 pao pao. Na onion za kieni. Na kule, unasema hii gunia ni yangu. Jameni unangojia mungu tena kufanyia hiyo. Mungu kila nimekupa ni miguwa ina uojwa. Na nafasi siku diyo ina kuja. Saa ya kujua. God agetaka utumie your maximum strength. Maximum space. Kwamba leo ni na masaa kumi. Nita make sure hii masaa ni meatumia paka sina deni ya nafasi ya leo hapo ndio hutaruhusu mtu akuje kwako akwambie ate mwenyewe hoai mwambie hoai wako haunyihui i never condense my evening i want to use it maximumly have you seen mtu hawezi kuja fellowship hata nazuia uje fellowship ndio jioni mketi muongee masekenyo Na akija ibada, ikichanawa kidogo, anaramika. Na akitoka, hakuna maria naenda, nipale inje, hakuna viasi, na apeane story. People, watu wapohu umia, wakati masaa, inaitisha kazi. Na wabia kitu kumaja, and you think about it, eh? Umai gudua, kuna wakati, unless you are careful, eh? Ugikaa hivi, you need to be opposite. Kama sisi. Mimi nikiketi hivi nione one hour imeisha na umia. Because I feel I've lost one hour. There's a spirit to konae ya kupumzika before time. Nikipitia hivjia 
Jericho buruburu naonaka boma fulani unakuta mzee wa miaka ite au mzee wa miaka naite amekaa nje ya nyumba anapata jua huyu ako miaka yake ya rest alafu nakuta msichana mwingine wa miaka 12 ako hapo akipea kuka story na kuka hata kistori kuka hata kaachwe ninalaani hiyo resonance kwa uwezo wa Bwana nataka roho wa Mungu akoroge mpaka nafasi ulio naye itumie max mamli nataka juni kifika jameni umechoka miguu you walked well njia moja ya mtu to regain your position be quickened huishwa kama ndani yako kuna karama ihuishwe kama ndani yako kuna nguvu izilale kama ndani yako kuna sauti itoke kama kuna uwezo ndani yako Bwana akuinue semeni amen. amen kuna mambo mane inatakiwa itokee na your parade number one, your strength nguvu leo naye kama unaweza kuinua kilo kumi, let that strength itumike vizuri kama unaweza soma let that strength itumike vizuri jambo la pili that inahitaji kuinuliwa max memory is your talent taranta yako hakuna mtu hana taranta you are made with talent kitu kingine about inahitaji max memory operation kizipote opportunities nafasi ambazo Mungu amepeana isipote kitu kingine ambacho kinahitaji kitumike max memory ni upako na waambieni wapendwa kuna nguvu na kuna upako uko nao isilale ingine ambao you need not to miss is the plan for the season kila wakati uko hai kuna majira ambao inahitaji inaitwa the plan for the season kama umeelewa sema amen hallelujah Amen. Na that's why another thing about you need to do. Kuna wakati mtu anajipata kwamba kwa jia ambao hujui una upungufu fulani. Si ugojwa deficiency. Kuna kitu huna na kinahitajika sana. Mami, umefungua duka na wewe si hujui kuongea sana. Wewe ni kama Musa. Musa aliabuaje? Hawa watu tawaongoza. Akasemaje? Mimi ni kigugumizi, nina ulimi, sijui kuongea. Musa akaleta pahara pale ambapo anaona kuna kukauka deficiency. Wapendwa, Musa alikosa kutimiza mwito. No way. Bwana akadimulizaje? Nani aliuba ulimi? Sijui kama I have a question here. Pastor siko mmefikiria kwamba Alun alipopeanwa a spokesman wa Moses. Was it perfect view? Or permissive view? Do you know Mungu hakupenda Aaron as spokesman? Ni vile tu Musa alimsukuma. If you check mambo ya Aaron, utaona wakati Musa Mungu agatamani tu Musa wae na Joshua. Aaron akae huko. Wakati Musa ameenda maombi ya siku nyingi. Aaron afanya nini? Kwa maana aliruhusiwa ni spokesman, aliambia watu Musa alienda turudia ushetani. Munaona katika namba 12 Alun akiongea na dada yake na na alikuwa abia kwani Mungu aliongea na Musa tumuinukie I have no problem with that lakini isipokuwa ni vile Musa alilamika sana juu ya ulimi wake Mungu alikuwa anataka Musa asiokope Hiyo sehemu yako ambayo unasikia you are not performing Iwapo Mungu amasema wewe ndiye president. Unasema hujui 
huju kutoa nini hotuba Mungu alisema hivyo akijua hakuna maubira yake yako hajui let god know what to do with you amen check those range baba haraka hiyo kelele hallelujah praise the lord bwana asifiwe bwana sio sana ruse wagataga na kitui ukabani haya leo kiabua wewe utakuwa governor wa kitui acha mungu tu afanye vitu atafanya na wewe because whenever god raises you waweza kuwa wewe hata huji kuongea but very soon utaongea mpaka ijulikane you are different god want you to be his product na kama you regain uta regain your possession overcome your deficiency hallelujah hallelujah unajua kuna president wa Kenya alikuwa anaitwa Moi Moi alikuwa mwalimu sijui hata alikuwa pidhiri wa walimu wakati wa corona ati hakusoma lakini si alitawala tu na njia yake god can raise you god can raise you God can raise you. Kuna kitu huna na Mungu amesema utakuwa. Mwambie Bwana uliniita ukijua niko hivi, I believe you for victory and change. And you regain your position. If you believe it, say amen. Jambo lingine ambalo ndio maana sana kama utanyakuwa tena nafasi yako redeem time. Sema redeem time. Hallelujah. Bible nasema katika kitabu cha Efeso 5 kitabu cha Efeso 5 This is what the Bible says verse 15 Nasema hivi basi agalieni sana mnavyo enenda si kama watu wasio na hekima bali kama watu wenye hekima mkiukoboa wakati say after me mkiukoboa wakati Sema redeeming time. Kama utarejea you will gain your position. You must be a person alien na uwezo wa ku redeem time. Bible nasema uwe mtu wa kukoboa wakati. Mkiukoboa wakati. Why? Kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu. Can you read from the screen? Sema let's it together one two three redeeming the time because the days are evil so many amen who no wakati abapo why do we redeem time redemption ni kama uh, kuokoa kitu kimepotea the way the world is usipokuwa na bidii ya kuokoa wakati is very easy wakati upotee na kile kile nishagaza ni hii jina linaitwa kukoboa does time need to be redeemed through you can be surprised one year about ni redeem time ifanya mtu ana utajiri aja haja pata 20 years it's possible jambo lingine because of time let me just continue Inasema hivi in the same scripture inasema hivi kwa sababu hiyo msiwe wa jinga bali mfahamu ni nini yaliyo mapenzi ya Bwana in Jesus Christ name Hallelujah Let's read katika hali ya kukoboa wakati kitu kimoja ambacho ninaomba Mungu anisaidie do not lose timing timing ni hivi in the time you live kuna timing ya kitu kuna wakati Mungu alikuwa agataka kukutumia kwa jia fulani kuna wakati mlango ulifunguka wako wa kusafiri amen bwana asifiwe sana you know one time 
nilisema hapa kanisani nikasema mimi wangu mefuguka wazada kazi Germany wazada kazi Australia Canada after that one of the young girls aligojea nifugua ofisi kaza bishop niko hapa mimi nitaenda Germany hayai nilipomwangalia uso si mimi hata mimi ni mzuri ni bishop nikaona sasa hii nakwambia kanisukuma and I thank god ako Germany saa hiyo nilikuwa nampatia hata fair anaambia bishop hatuja kura Sasa bishop nina jiada kutoa within 2 to 3 4 months amebarikiwa na mengi naambia bishop uadike Kagudo road na toa 500000 inaitwa nini hallelujah praise god usipotese timing at nini do you know your nafasi baadaye ikaanza kuwa gumu Aram ni kapa bishop uko na wengine kazi gani hospitality mushara gani at least 1300 na mtu anapewa kila kitu nyumba na nini that time nilikosa wapendo hapa ni about bishop ata hao usilipe kitu the door is open tafutia mtu amefanya hospitality nikaambia bishop nafasi zilikuwa 50 zimeenda kuna watu walikuja baka sema oh sorry nafasi hizo ni kama zime na nikachukua zote nikijana na bwana nimelea nimemhubia bishop i know you are man of god na sasa kuitia kitu you know kuna kitu kinaitwa don't lose your timing It's very easy upata Mungu alikuja but timing ulipoteza for instance ukisoma biblia yako kitabu cha 2 Samuel chapter 11 Bible says hata ikawa mwanzo wa mwaka mpya wakati watokapo wafaume kwenda vitani Daudi akampeleka Yoabu na watumishi wake pamoja naye na Israeli wote wakaagamiza wana wa Amoni. Mhm, vastu. Ikawa wakati wa jioni Daudi akaondoka. Ukiangalia inasema aha, Daudi hakwenda. Ni wakati wa wafaume kwenda nini? Vitani alibaki. What was the gospel? Ni nini kilimpata kwa nyumba? Wrong timing. Bible sema it happened. One evening David arose from his bed. The question is So ni hili. Ni mwanaume gani John anarara? Jameni mfalme na kulala jioni. Mfalme na raga saa sita usiku bwana. Kazi ni nyingi. Lakini this time ofisi ya David ilikuwa hivi hakuwa awe kwa nyumba alikuwa ni majira wa faume kwenda vitani he was supposed to be busy vitani ni wakati wa faume should be busy fighting the enemy kwa hivyo alipobaki kwa nyumba hakuwa na kazi ndio jioni ni kulala tu do you know this nataka mwangalie the statement david jioni kama five kama kulikuwa kugari na nuru jua lilikuweko tu akatoka kwa kitada hana kazi he walked on the roof of the king's house and from the roof kwa maana he is idol amekataa kuwa kazini amekataa kuwa vitani ni wakati wa faume watakuwa kwa vitani yeye amebaki akarara alipewa kazi na ibilisi and from the roof he saw a woman taking bath sometimes you know wadada wadada si ukemuliza 
nikiorarara mufaume mutwa heshima the only we the only thing ya maana naona ni mwanamke akioga hiyo ndio tabia inagusha wanawake na wanaume hakuna mtu atakuwa the right timing na awe na nafasi ya kuangalia vituko kuna this man was supposed to be at war roho we roho ya wanawake na tamaa haikuweko kwa vita ni kufikiria adui kumaliza dugu za akina goliath walikuwa wamebaki sijui wane kupanua mipaka to establish the nation wakati you are not in the right timing devil atakupa mambo ya vituko unakuta mtu wa heshima uko chini nani angefikiria daudi aliyekuwa amepewa heshima nyumba yake ndio itazaa mesia aliyekuwa amepewa mafuta ya kuagusha goliath na kuroda aibu aweshagushwa na mwanamke wrong timing hello praise the lord hallelujah alitumana you know the bible says and the woman was very beautiful beautiful ya nani na si wake na nyomo ndo mathere nimemwona mure hapo akioga beautiful wa nini nini unaona hapo na tena akauchi akioga joro mtu anakalia mama kamau na ni wako ai na bwana samaji vadri akatumana ale na that evening akarara na yeye akamtumia na akawa na miba alipojua ako na miba akauliza wapi mume wa huyu akaba anaitwa Uria Uria e, akatumana vitani Uria awekwe mbele kwa vita Dio chances za kuwawa ziwe juu akawekwa mahali maadui wako Uria akafa na kitabu Uria akufe what did he do akasema mpatieni ruhusa aje kwa nyumba haraka Dio akira na mke wake Daudi a confuse watu kwamba miba ni ya nani ni ya uria na kama Daudi alijua hii siri itajulikana akasema akikaa na mke wake wafanye sex murudisheni kwa vita akufe ili iwe kwamba sikizani vile Daudi alikuwa amepanga miba ni ya uria lakini Daudi haya namkumbuke haidaganya Daudi alikuwa amedaganya ni nabii alifanya ukweli utoke watu waliabua miba na nani ni ya uria na kaona uria amekufa kwa vita Daudi ako na haki ya kuwa muke ambaye mume ameku sasa Bethsheba ako na miba inaendelea Daudi anambia watu huyu <coughs> mama alipata miba mzee akiwa vitani na alipata miba na mzee nikaona kwa maana mzee amekufa ni mchukue kama vile biblia inashema nabii anaitwa nadha kwa kuja hapa Daudi akamwambia 1 2 3 je hiyo story akamwambia David watakuwa kukufa wewe kwa maana hiyo miba bedisheba ako naye ni yako na unajaribu kutaganya na ni wewe uliua mume wake Daudi that is the time David alikubali it is sin. Thus amkiangalia Biblia Daudi hata aliposamehewa Mungu alimwambia kuna kitu ambacho kitatereka one. Kitendo ulichotenda kitatendewa itatendwa kwa nyumba yako hadharani. Absalom alichukua wake wa Daudi. You can imagine son akichukua mama yake, mama yake. Ana ana rep wake wa Daudi wote. Daudi akiona na Israeli wakiona Daudi anaulizwa mzee mbona huoni your son akasema nilijetea hii na akaabua goja wakati wa wote utakuwa hai upanga hautakosa nyumba yako nimekusamehe lakini kuna uchungu utakaa naye pata utakapozeeka kwa maana neema you don't need grace you need pain unajua unaweza fanya kitu mungu aseme wewe hata ukitubu hauhitaji neema unahitaji uchungu ndio uwe na akili haya mambo itapata watu 
wrong timing unakuta wewe vile uliolewa ulikuwa msichana wa kwaya siku moja ulikosa kuwa kwa ibada maombi ya kufuga ulikosa ndio ulipatikana na mwanamume neighbor some of you ulikuwa mtoto wako alipataje nilikuwa msichana wa worship nikaanguka tafadhali kama utarejeshewa your position ya upako usifanye kama Daudi kama ni wakati wa kufunga funga kama ni wakati wa ibada uwe kwa ibada kama ni wakati wa kusoma neno uwe pale kama ni wakati wa kupata hii na hii uwe pale let god find you where you are supposed to be according to his will and you win pigeni yesu makofi bwana awainue hallelujah hey, hey praise the lord hallelujah now I want to tell you friends take advantage of chances of God's mercy take advantage ya nafasi za rehema za Mungu take advantage ya nafasi za rehema zizikupite ukiangalia vizuri katika Mark chapter 5 mwanamke aliyetokwa na damu Mwanamke aliyetokwa na ndamu Inasemaje Mark 5:25 20, na mwanamke mmoja mwenye kutoka damu muda wa miaka miwili na kuteswa mengi kwa mikono ya matabibu wengi amegalimiwa vitu vyote alivyo navyo kusimfae kitu Aliposikia habari za Yesu alipita katika mkutano kwa nyuma aliguze vazi lake maana alisema nikiaguza mavazi yake nitapona maana chemchemi yake ikakauka hata kama umama alikuwa na nuka na kisheria alikuwa na jisi hakuwa atokee he took advantage of the masses sahi bwana anapopatikana Nikijua muoni mwake anipenda sitaruhusu apite. Usiruhusu nafasi ya kupata rehema ikupite. The Lord you bless you. Japo lingine ni hili by the grace of God. By the grace of God. Hallelujah. Ukiangalia Mark 15. Mark 15. No Luke 15. Luke 15. Verse 16. Bible inasema kuna huyu prodigal son alio Bible inasema kwamba akaanza kujishibisha na maganda yaliyokuliwa na gurue verse 17 alipozigatia moyo wake alisema ni watumishi wangapi wa baba yangu wanakula chakula na kuzaa saa na mimi hapa na kufa na jaa nitaondoka nitakwenda kwa baba yangu na kumwambia baba nimekosa there is you see this boy alitumia ulivi wake wote na akawa kwamba the only option ni kukura maganda ya nguruwe na nguruwe lakini katika siri ya nafsi yake kuna kitu alijua baba alieniza kwake daima mimi ni mtoto wake he cannot be an call he cannot be neighbor he cannot be otherwise father my father is my father and i want to take advantage of baba kuwa baba nitaenda mpaka kwake nimwambie nimekosa kwa sababu kama servants wa kuajiriwa si wetu ni wa kuajiriwa wanakura kwa baba yangu mimi baba yangu aliyeniza servants wanakura na kutupa chakula what about i nikirudi kwa baba na nikienda hata niita mtumwa i will still be a son i should go you see friends kuna wakati huu abaye baba anaitwa baba tukwen nafasi hii tumepewa katika nyakati za neema wakati Mungu amekubali tumuite baba 
Use that chance. Use that chance. Hata kama umeisha kiasi gani. Mwambie Bwana. Kuna jambo najua. Ni kicha kwako. Nije ni sameno ni hurumie utanipa nafasi ya mwana kwa maana that is my position na bwana nafasi hii ya neema ulionipa ya kupata upendo na fadhili na rehema za mzazi aitoe mungu baba hazinipiti au take advantage ya mungu kuwa baba yangu i still know there's grace in the father I still know there's masses in the Father. I still know I'm a son to the Father. Kitabu hasira ije. Let me take the chance of these masses. Wapendwa, you go back. Utarejea. Utarejea kwa your position. Because God haja badirisha jina. He is still a father. I say God has not changed his name. He is still a father. I say God has not changed his meaning. He is still a father. Before anything happens, chukua nafasi ya mungu wabaya agari baba. Go back. Go back. Go back. Now, let me give you an example. Katika tradition ya Bibiria, ugeda kwa mtu akweke pete, mufaume au baba, alimanisha hivi, Anywhere utaenda hiyo pete yake ionekane watu wajue unamwakilisha That's why the son alivaa nguo na pete kumaanisha whenever you see him know he represents the father I say pete haikukaa aliwekwa awekwe nguo na pete signet Hallelujah akienda aseme doa bale yako inange asa yes Pokea shabara kina kwa inange. Ashe mede bale aga timo. Yes, pokea uridhi wake. Asema awekwe vasi na awekwe pete. Sing to show that anywhere he goes, awe accepted as a son of somebody. Mungu akweke pete yake. Inaosema muki muona huyu, mujue anaitanishwa na mimi. Mapepo ikikuona ijue unaitanishwa na yeye na fasta baraka zikitokea zijue unaitanishwa na Mungu Baba receive his signet ring Jesus bless this church so mimi tushukuru Mungu amba shataraba zikire masaya Baba nakupa sifa kwa aminifu wako. Nakupa heshima kwa sababu. Kira mutu alie kwa ibada hii leo. Nafasi ya urejesho. Nafasi ya kunyakua tena. Nafasi ya kingdom umetupa leo. My brothers and sisters. Mina sikia mwe ni mwangu ni mwambea. Bwana kaniambia ambia wateule wangu. Nafasi wainyakue tena. Nani anasema mungu ni mesikia yu sauti. Na nataka kunyakua to regain my possession. I want to dedicate you to God. Na sasa kama mungu wangu aishimyo. Baba wambilele abaye habadiriki. Jina lake nire nire. Rehema zake nire zire. Baba mungu wangu. Mimi na hawa watu nafasi yetu ya kingdom tu pesa sa no turehem Bwana weka ndani ya akili ya kila mtu hapa power bio ya kuridhi shetani na uongo wako ondoka juu ya his family ondoka bere hum kijana ondoka devil give way to God's children na kuanzia leo bwana kila mtu akitoka hapa apate mrango ukiwa wazi kwa maana wamenena in Christ we pray pigia Yesu makofi now ibada ya ine meisha we just want to remind you by the grace of god katini kidogo tu kwamba tuliadikisha watu tukaanza maombi mandi 